Earth meteorologist Jamie Ertle with the last week of summer almost over. We are looking at temperatures a little bit above average as we head through our Thursday, Friday and Saturday 86. That's where we should be this time of year. And then Sunday, the first day of fall, 88 degrees. Let's go ahead and take a look at our fair and fair first alert live radar. It's on a slow sweep after a very busy day with thunderstorms and a lot of rainfall for many of you. 2.7 inches in portions of Jasper County Springfield coming in with nearly two inches as well. 2.6 inches in the Ellabelle area and a lingering storm in McIntosh County over three inches of rain and southern Appling County coming in at 1.3 inches. But Ludowisi, Hinesville, barely, barely a drop and Statesboro as well. High pressure is going to build in heading into the weekend, but we've got a little kind of annoying stationary front right off our coast and that's going to give us just a slight chance of showers tomorrow. Waking up Thursday 66 in Hampton, Statesboro, Matter, Vidalia, 69 Baxley, 69 Savannah, 70 for the beaches. As we head through the day, we start in the 60s in some places and we climb to nearly 80 degrees at 11 o'clock. No chance of rain until after lunchtime and we're going to cap it at 20% right through that evening commute and then mostly dry by sunset. So Rinkin, you make it up to 87 Statesboro 86 Bluffton Richmond Hill 87 and Jessup 88 with a 10% chance south of the Altamaha. If you are going to area beaches tomorrow, well, the rip current risk is actually low now after seeing high to moderate rip currents for the past couple of days. Let's start the clock here with Futurecast and it's 7 a.m. with a mix of sun and clouds, then mostly sunny through lunchtime. Then you can see from Charleston down the coastline. So if we do see any showers, I-95 east and they're very spotty in nature. This is five o'clock. Just a little dot here, no, and there, and, and really no real accumulation. Seven o'clock, we are dry with a beautiful sunset with some clouds. And then Friday, we do it all over again, watching the tropics. So far in the Atlantic, the middle Atlantic, Gordon may re-energize. It has a 50% chance of doing so, but it was never a threat to land. Now we take a look at what we're watching that may develop in the Caribbean. Uh, just next to the Yucatan Peninsula in between that and Cuba. It has a 30% chance of development now in the next seven days. Anywhere throughout this development, it could go toward Texas. It could go toward Louisiana and it could honestly go toward Florida and maybe be a backdoor storm for us if it actually happens. So there is a lot of question marks with this potential storm that doesn't even have a center of circulation right now. So right now we focus on our warm temperatures, a little muggy as we head through the weekend as well. We start next work week dry warm, see a slight cool down, and then potentially we'll start to track what may be the next named storm by the end of next work week.